So today we're looking at some uh, trucks 4 inch lights that have built in strobe lights. So I've installed these on a, a forklift. It had some incandescent lights that were, one of them was damaged. So it seemed like the right time to replace the pair and add the strobes. This uh, forklift is meant to go on road to some extent. It has a uh, turn signals and brake lights and reverse lights and everything. But it didn't have strobe lights and that's pretty much a requirement in Ontario is to have orange strobes and then a, uh, a slow moving vehicle sign. So you're probably wondering why our lights are out. That's because we're going to just test the uh, lights on this thing. So we're inside of a garage right now which would be similar to working in a, an unlit forklift area. So that's just the uh, marker lights. And uh, so this is with the, uh, the four inch lights. This machine has a, a hose reel on it for an attachment. So it, uh, the one light f just goes right into the back of it, unfortunately. But you can see there's a ton of light coming off this machine. You don't need to be too worried about uh, where you're going. You'll be able to see what you're doing. And then if you want people to see you, that strobe lights, they're really offensive. If you're looking right at them, it's not too pleasant. So you can get these on sale, so I would recommend buying them on sale when they're available. I got them at Princess Auto. Then I got their like $20 little vehicle mount strobe for the back because the uh, machine doesn't have anything really viewable from the back. So I will just go and turn on the lights and we'll take a look at the wiring and whatnot that I did on it. So it's like looking at the sun. <laughs> They're bright. So these are the uh, original incandescent lights, they're probably 50 watts or something that came off. They had a, a ground in them, just going to the chassis. On this machine, there's only one wire going up to the uh, light, so the original, let me turn these things off. The original wire coming from the machine is just a single wire. This light here has three wires, so I installed some duplex wire with like a ground and uh, an additional positive wire. So the yellow wire is your strobe, red is your regular lights, and ground is your negative. Nowadays, duplex wire, black is positive and white is negative. You can choose how you want to do it. It did come with a pair of light switches, one for the uh, driving lights, one for the emergency lights, and a bit of wire, and then a hex key for putting it together. Basically, what else did I do here? So, I just tapped off of my uh, regular like headlight signal switch to do the uh, strobes. I use my own switch because it just kind of fit. So what I did was like the positive wire on the switch is uh, this here and then it's fused inside of the switch for all the uh, components that take power off of it. So I used the jumper wire which was just a, uh, a fuse holder and a 10 amp fuse and went to this other switch. So that's how I powered it and then I just ran three wires like I said, three duplex wires. I just put the grounds underneath the uh, cab here and the positives, which are black, onto the switch. That way you don't need to worry about a, a good ground anywhere. This thing has pretty bad reviews and it's super cheap. So the magnet kind of is not all that great. It came with like a cigarette light switch doodad on it, so I just cut it off. There's two wires in there, there's blue and red, so blue was ground, red was positive. It came with a, a few screws for attaching it to something. But never modify your rollover protection structure. That's a bad idea. Like this one's a bit rusty and needs to be ground down and painted, but it's uh, still quite solid. But you don't want to go modifying a ROPS because you might end up ruining it. So uh, I just, gonna stick this on here then I've got a, a connector 
I can take it off when I want if it's going to get knocked off when you go through a doorway or something. Some people will mount them on like a little flagpole that you can fold back for when you go in and out of a door. But it's uh, a few ways you can do that. So I think that's uh, about it. I haven't really used this too much. I noticed the mounting screws, some of them were kind of polluted with epoxy. So you had to pick which one was going to go on which side based on which uh, screw you could actually access. Wiring isn't really tidy yet. I have to go over that still. It would be nice if I had like a better connector on this thing, like the three loose wires is adequate, but it could always be better. And then on a forklift, you always want to keep your uh, lights protected because you're going into locations this width of a pallet. So you can't have anything sticking out because it's going to get smashed off. Otherwise, I would have brought them out further, especially on the far side, so that the hose reel wouldn't be in the way. So I just got that one on an angle a little bit going to the side. But I think that's good enough, so thank you for watching.